Yeah, we have some coming later in the week, but I wanted to show you quickly at Puerto Rico tonight. Everything is a lot quieter. San Juan got but yesterday and today up to about a couple of inches of rain indicated by radar, but just south kind of in this general part of the island. Radar estimated near eight or nine inches of rain from yesterday into today. Thankfully, getting a little bit of a break at least for tonight. Tomorrow and Monday, still about a 40 50% chance across the island for a few more showers. So still dealing with some rain there for us. We're drying out just in time for tonight and Easter and into Monday. We do have rain in the forecast later in the week, but we've had our cool front settle in far to our south now with any rain off to the east of us and our high pressure at the surface building in. So we're looking for cooler weather on Easter and less humid weather too. We are feeling it already a little bit tonight. We stay somewhat coolish, lower than average temperatures at least through this week, and it will not be super humid. We'll have clouds and eventually we will get some rain and also an increased east wind at the middle of the week due to some low pressure just south of our coastline, which I'll show you in a second. Now outside you've seen the clouds descend after we had the big breaks of blue sky this afternoon. And of course, that was after the very early morning rain and the clouds that we had earlier. But now our temperatures are coming down. Highs today were lower to middle 70s, but so muggy, especially early this morning. And then tonight we're looking for 50s to about 60 for our temperatures overnight. Some clouds do continue to linger. And then tomorrow I have clouds, maybe eventually a little bit of sun and that cooler feel starting the morning in the 50s and 60s, ending up maybe around 70 for the afternoon. So spending most of tomorrow afternoon for everything, your church services, uh, your Easter egg hunts in the 60s. So a little bit of that cooler feel for sure. And here's your planner. Note the clouds earlier in the day breaking up a bit, at least in some spots for afternoon. And then tomorrow evening we'll be back to about 65 by 10 p.m. Looking really quickly at our model so you can get an idea. Still continuing with these clouds filtering in from the north and we do look for 1 p.m. temperatures in the upper 60s. Topping out here we are by 4 and 5 p.m. close to 70 starting to see a little bit of the breakup in the clouds and then tomorrow night at 8 p.m. quiet with our temperatures in the 60s. The only rain chance I think might be a stray shower along the coast. Otherwise, we're looking dry. But as we move into the next couple of days, tomorrow and Monday on the drier side for sure, not looking for a lot of rain. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we increase the rain chance. And especially if you are near the coast, south of New Orleans, near the coast, you may have a little higher chance for rain depending on what happens. Now, what we were going to see this week is this trough of low pressure diving into the northwestern Gulf of Mexico and a surface low developing in the Gulf. Now, when we see this, usually it spins some rain over the Gulf Coast, so that's why our rain chances are going up. Models aren't in great sync just yet, but looking into Wednesday and then we'll go into Thursday, the surface low gets closer. It spreads a little rain in, but note the heavier totals likely closer to the low, closer south along the coast. And also note around this low, the flow is going to be coming in from the east and those winds will be pretty strong. It looks like because we'll have high pressure to our north and when you have high and low pressures close to each other, it causes the winds to pick up. So those east winds might push the waters up along the shorelines. So there may be a coastal flood advisory eventually coming out. Those of you who live on the water or live on the coast know that this happens sometimes with these persistent east winds. So that'll be something to think about heading into the middle of the week. Then the low continues to move off to the east, weakens. This is by Friday, maybe a couple of showers, but then boom, for next weekend, we're looking drier and warmer. Now, could it develop into something tropical? I mean, it's only April and temperatures are just barely in the southern part of the Gulf at the criteria 78 plus degrees for sea surface temperatures to support any sort of tropical development. So looking doubtful, we'll keep our eye on it. Either way, it's going to mean some rain and some wind along the coast with rainfall totals higher to the south and lesser to the north. Of course, those exact forecast totals will probably change a little bit. You can see the lower temperatures in the lower 70s for highs through Thursday and then for French Quarter Fest warming up by Saturday back into the 80s.